in Nakuru County, the Kenya Agricultural and Livestock Research Organization, Calro, is cultivating a solution to Kenya's livestock feed shortage. On its 160-acre farm in Naivasha, the organization is growing lucerne grass, a protein-rich forage under pivot irrigation. As Dennis Otiono reports on this week's Smart Farm, the initiative is not only combating climate change effects, but also improving dairy productivity and cutting feed costs. At the base of Mount Longonot on 160 acres, Calro is growing Lausanne grass, an energy-rich crop. With rainfall becoming increasingly unreliable, Calro adopted automated irrigation to guarantee consistent harvest. The main challenge today is feeding of dairy cows. And what we have done intentionally is to develop a pivot irrigation system where we can produce uh, uh, a Lusani A throughout the year. We have installed this system because of the issues of climate change where precipitation, where rainfall is also a challenge and therefore we needed to see how can we then address the feed resource challenge for feeding of our dairy animals. Each month Calro produces over 20,000 bales of Lusan. But its true strength lies in quality, boasting protein levels of up to 24%, far higher than typical grasses. Lusan is very highly digestible. Lusan has high crude protein seeping of 24% compared to other grasses which might be 15, 14, that comparative advantage is very important. At the same time, Lusanne produces nitrogen and fixes the soil fertility. And therefore, we don't use organic fertilizers in this field. Being a legume, it is good for our soil. So the soil health and the nutrient balance is, is good compared with other crops that mine a lot of nutrients. This one has the potential to to put more nutrients in the soil. That dual value for both livestock and soil makes Lusan a strategic crop for the future. Its fast growth means farmers can harvest every four weeks under irrigation. It's very encouraging. Under irrigation, it takes only four weeks. After every four weeks, you are harvesting your Lusan and baling it ready for use by our animals, ready for sale to smallholder farmers around this region to address the feed resource challenge which we have across the country. As feed costs rise due to global disruptions, Lusan offers a homegrown alternative to expensive commercial concentrates. The Lusan grass variety is hailed as the queen of all forages due to its superior characteristics compared to other types of grass. Today, it is increasingly recognized as a solution to the recurring challenge of feed shortages in the country. This grass produces, uh, provides vitamins, it provides minerals, which are very essential elements when feeding the dairy cows. So this is the grass which replaces concentrates, the dairy meal that we use, which are very expensive because of uh, the sources of uh, grains. You know, this disruption of the supply chain of grains across the world, especially when you look at the Ukraine war. From land preparation to post-harvest handling, Lusan requires proper agronomic knowledge. But its returns in yield quality and sustainability make it a smart investment. For the first harvest, after planting, you, you need to do the first harvest after the first harvesting three months after planting. Then there are after the subsequent cuts are monthly. Yes. The first one is, 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 is longer because you are leaving the crop to establish well before you start disturbing it. In the face of climate shocks and rising costs, Lusan farming offers a glimpse into the future of sustainable dairy production, 
homegrown, nutrient dense, and climate smart. Denis Otieno, Smart Farm.